everyone. So today's video is the huge Sephora VIB sale haul. Holy moly, you guys, the sale totally creeped up on me. I had no idea that the sale was happening till literally like the day before it went live. And I was like, there's just no way. I'm not gonna be able to do a recommendations video. I felt so bad, but as you guys know, I have a newborn right now. It is hard to film for a fine time to film right now. She's actually sleeping right down here in the dock dot because I just have her to myself today. So I fed her and now she's sleeping. So we have some time to film this video. <laughs> So I'm like trying to do as much as I can right now. But anyways, I purchased a ton of new stuff from Sephora. I also got some items that I love and needed repurchases of. Before we get in this video, if you guys are brand new to my channel, hello, my name is Madison. Feel free to click the subscribe button if you want to stick around for reviews and other hauls. I promise my intros usually aren't this long and I usually have stuff a lot more organized. <laughs> but if you want to stick around, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications and also give this video a thumbs up if you guys love hauls. I know I love hauls. They're my favorite videos to film. I have so much fun with it. But yeah, now let's just go ahead and get into what I got from Sephora. The first thing that I got is from Too Faced and this is actually for the holiday giveaway. So if you guys saw my huge Ulta haul of all the holiday kits, you saw that there were some items that I purchased for my huge holiday giveaway that I do every single year for you guys. And I always love including the holiday kits because they're so much fun. And this one I really liked because I really love the makeup bag in it. Like the makeup bag is everything. I been using it like non-stop so I wanted to pick up one for you guys for the giveaway so this is the Too Faced Christmas Dreams Dream Queen limited edition makeup collection right here so you get a really big palette in there you get a mascara and then you also get the Hangover RX 3-in-1 spray and a lip gloss which is really really pretty and my favorite makeup bag right here I really love it it's so cute so I wanted to include this in the giveaway for you guys okay so next up as you guys know I'm obsessed with the Sephora Pro palettes like so so obsessed I have to own them all well I went on the website and I noticed that there was two palettes that I didn't own and I was like how do I not have these I need these so the first one that I got is the Sephora Pro Pro Pigment Palette so this is Editorial 2.0 I am so excited for this you guys it's so pretty and I have to say that I absolutely love that they are now putting the names on the palettes I think this palette is so unique with the color scheme it's definitely not something that I I would usually gravitate to but I was like I have to own them all and then plus I really love the formula of them and these greens are really pretty I really love this mauve shade right here and also the shimmers are absolutely gorgeous I honestly use my warm one and my nude one the most but I go into both of those so this is also gonna sit like I've got like a little stack back there of palettes that I've been using but this is also gonna stick back there and I cannot wait to test this one out I think it's gorgeous I want to swatch wizard wizard is really pretty pretty. It's like a taupey shimmer shade. Ooh, look at that. That one's gorgeous. And then let's swatch Talisman. Oh, I love their mattes. Their mattes are so creamy, so pigmented, and they are not patchy at all. So I really enjoy them. Honestly, like if you guys love color, check out the first editorial palette. That is the best colorful palette I have ever tried with the formula. Like those shades are so pigmented and so easy to use. So I'm really pumped for that one. All right, so the other pro palette that I got is the Smoky Jewels palette right here. And this is more of a, again, this is another palette that I honestly probably wouldn't gravitate to on an everyday basis, but I just love the quality of these. Like you guys know my obsession with these palettes. They're my favorite formula. So this is the palette right here. So this is the Smoky palette. Really pretty colors. And again, their mattes are amazing to work with. So I am so excited to jump into this. Oh, I'm even like looking at stone. Like, can you guys tell like my favorite colors is like that mauve shade. I think it's beautiful. So this is stone right here. Oh yeah. There it is. It blends out beautifully. And then let's go into indigo. And it is a gorgeous purple shade, shimmery purple right there. So I'm really excited to use these. Ooh, even like this green right here too. I don't know. I just need to play with makeup again. So those will be fun to test out. I do have to recommend the warm and the nude one just because those are ones that I use every single day and they're just so versatile and I think you guys will all like them. The next product that I have here is a repurchase and oh, 
These are a little bougie, I know, but the brand actually sent me a box and I used up the entire box and I was like, oh my God, these are the best cotton pads I've ever tried. And it's the Cojin Doe Pure Cotton. So it's a cotton that has not been chemically treated, bleached or pigmented, utilizing the best of cotton softness for your skin. So that is what this right here. They're just little cotton squares, perfect for removing makeup. I love using it to remove my eye makeup and also like taking my cellar water around my face. They are just so nice on the skin and I love it. I went through a whole box and I'm kind of bummed because you guys would have seen this in my empties, but I think Joel threw away the box. I went to go look at the box because I had it sitting on the counter because I was going to go put it in my bag and my little empties bag and then I went back that like later on the day and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I think when he was taking out the trash, he saw the empty box and threw it away. So yeah, I lost that box, but I had to pick up another box. I think these are $15. So yeah, it's a little bougie, but they are so nice, like so nice. Usually I would have never splurged on a cotton pad, but since the brand sent it to me and I got to trying it, I fell in love with it and I was like, okay, I, I can't go back. I just can't. So. I had to get another one of these. Another repurchase is another thing from Cojendo. It is the Aqua Foundation in 013. This is one of my favorite everyday foundations. I cannot live without this. My other one is almost gone and I love it. I use 013 when I'm not self-tanned. I use 123 when I'm between the self-tan and then I use like one, I think it's 143 is what I use when I am self-tanned because I think that's like one of their darkest shades. I'm not, I don't think it's the darkest anymore. I think they came out with more shades now but it's my favorite foundation it's so lightweight on the skin it wears well throughout the day and I just love the way like it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing foundation and I just I'm obsessed with it and I highly recommend it and it's also really good if you have sensitive skin too so definitely check this one out you guys it's awesome okay so this next one I just needed this in my life when I saw how big it was I was like what I have yet to purchase my own of these because I've always gotten them in the glam bags and stuff from ipsy so I was been going through those but when I saw the size on the Sephora sale and I was like, and plus I get to save money. Yes, put that in my cart. It is the Sol de Janeiro Bakey Bakey Boom Boom Cream. I always get comments saying it's bum bum, not boom boom, but no, the brand actually likes it pronounced boom boom. They're from Brazil. We worked with them on Ipsy Facebook Live and they always tell us like how to properly pronounce the names and how the brand wants the names pronounced and they want it pronounced boom boom. So I just had to say that because I always get comments about it. But when I saw this huge size, I was like, oh my God, I need this in my life, you guys. This stuff saved me throughout my pregnancy. It's so moisturizing and hydrating and it just did a wonders for my body and I highly recommend it. And look at the size. It is huge. Oh my gosh. It's like almost as big as my face. I love it. This thing is awesome. I cannot wait to use this. And then also it comes with a little like kind of surfboard spatula to like bring out the product and disperse it. But yeah. I'm so excited for this. It's, this will actually take me a while to run out of. I ran out of that little size like pretty quickly, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited to lather my body in this, but don't worry. I know, I nurse, so I do not put any lotion around my boob area because that's where she's sucking and I don't want her ingesting any of it. But I will lather the rest of my body in it. All right, so getting into some more holiday kits that I purchased for the holiday giveaway. I also purchased the Tarte one right here, the pineapple one, which I think is just really fun and cute. I know it's a little bulky, but again, I think this is a really fun gift to give, so that's why I wanted to include it in the giveaway. And then I have another holiday kit for the giveaway. So this is the Too Faced Under the Christmas Tree. And I actually, if you guys already saw my Ulta haul, you saw that I purchased one of these already for the giveaway. I believe I'm gonna do an Instagram holiday giveaway as well. So I do have some doubles of things, so I think I'm gonna include that into the Instagram one. All right, so also I got two of the Christmas Dreams Dream Queen um, limited edition makeup collections here. So as you guys saw from the first thing that I showed in this, haul I actually purchased two of them so one will be for the Instagram giveaway and then one of them will be for the YouTube holiday giveaway all right so next up is another repurchase and I purchased another one of my benefit precisely my brow in shade two so I actually purchased one in this order and then I noticed that I ran out of like my stash that I have here so I made a whole other order and I ordered four of them I know 
pretty crazy, but I ordered four of them. I cannot live without this brow pencil. And you guys know that if you run out of your brow pencil while you're doing your brows and not have a backup, it is a nightmare, like an absolute nightmare. And it's like the worst thing to ever happen. I'm being so dramatic, but really, it really sucks. So I went ahead and ordered four more, which I thought I had the box for this haul, but I don't. I think it's at my PO box right now because I just got an email that one of them like got delivered. So I think it's there at my PO box. But yeah, so I had to purchase one of those and then I have four more coming. So I'm stocked up again. Okay, so she just woke up, so we gotta hurry. This is the Cap on D Liquid Liner, Liner X. So this is their first batch. So this is the Trooper liner that she already has that I love, but I believe this one has a matte finish to it. So this is like their first batch, like trying to see like what everyone thinks about it and everything, I guess, I don't know but I'm really excited to try this one out. I think it will be awesome because I really love it when liquid liners have a matte finish. So that would be awesome. This is what it looks like right here. It just has the white packaging. Oh yeah, the tip is nice too. So this one will be great to test out and see if I like that one better than the other one. All right, so next up is a product from Charlotte Tilbury that I've been dying to try out. It made me so excited to see that they are now in Sephora. So I was able to use the discount code to save money on it. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish. And and the shade that I got is One Fair. This is the powder right here. Everyone says this powder is amazing to set your makeup and your under eye with. Like it's so finely milled and everything. So I was really excited to try this one out and it made me really happy. Oh yeah, it feels like silk. Oh, it feels so nice. Oh, it feels good. I cannot wait to try this out and set my under eyes with it. I've heard so many amazing things about it. So I'm very, very excited for it. Okay, so next up is a product that my mom told me that I needed to have like a long time ago and I finally got it. And when I saw this little set, I was like, this is perfect. This is the Laneige. It's either Laneige or Laneige. If you hear little sounds, it's her. We're gonna quickly do this. <laughs> so what it is, it's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And then it also comes with other three little minis right here. So you get the full side with the little spatula and then you get three little minis. So the green one is apple lime, then vanilla, and then grapefruit. And then you just have the original right there. So I'm excited that they have like a bunch of different little ones. I think I actually might give one to my sister and one to my mom as well, but <sighs> I cannot wait to have that and just have it next to my nightstand. You guys know I love lip balm and my mom swears by that one. So I'm excited to finally have that one for myself. Okay, so when I saw this on the site, I about died, you guys. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. You guys know I love, it's in 79 Guilty. You guys know I love Marc Jacobs. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. So this is the packaging. It's like the same size as the bronzer. It's huge. This little thing will take me forever to use up. Woo. And this is what the shade looks like right there. It's like a really pretty kind of golden champagne. I do wish it was a little bit lighter, but oh, it's really goldy. I don't know if this is gonna be too dark for me. Aw, this is such a bummer. It is totally going to be too dark for me. Gosh dang it. I needed like the lighter one. I wonder if there is a lighter shade. Is there a lighter shade to it? Did I just get the wrong shade? There's just one shade. It's a warm peachy gold. I should have looked at that. But it's so pretty. You know what? I can totally wear this when I am self tanned. I just can't wear this when I'm fair because otherwise you can just see. That is way too dark for me. So something I would have to wear when I'm self tanned. That's a bummer because I won't be tanning anytime soon. Ah, oh, dang it. I wish that I want them to come out with one that's a light. Like they should have came out with like three different shade tones. They should have came out with one that was champagne, one that was gold, and then one was that was a little bit deeper for deeper skin tones. I think that would have been nice. All right, so next up is another product that I purchased for the giveaway. This is the Too Faced Tickled Peach. This is the Bite Size Peach Infused Eyeshadow Palette right here. So it's just like the little mini version. I'm not gonna open it up, but I thought this was really cute and great for travel too. So I decided to throw this in the holiday giveaway. All right, so this next one, this palette, I am dying to try out. It is so gorgeous, you guys. And she's making noises. You okay? She's stretching. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette right here. First off, the packaging is so cool. It is so cool. It definitely gets glitter everywhere though. Let's not do that again. So let me open up right here. So this has the same type of packaging on the outside. So definitely will give you a little bit of glitter, but oh well. This is it right here. I'm so excited that she did like a neutral palette, but look at these. Those colors are 
beautiful. And then she did like a pop of peach in there too, which is kind of crazy, but that's awesome. I love like these browns. Oh, so pretty. And I am definitely like all about the cool tones too. Like I love cool tones. I think they're very flattering on my skin tone. And then also you get a double ended brush as well with it too. Let's swatch some. We got a swatch. Rose Quartz looks beautiful. Her formula is so nice too. That's Rose Quartz. Blends out beautifully. Let's do Steampunk, which is more of a gold, like a bronzy gold. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Now let's go into a matte. So we're going to go to dystopian there's dystopian right there that one swatched really well too this is a beautiful beautiful palette and i like when i saw it i was like i need this i need this now even though i have so many palettes i was just like i need this one so i cannot wait i'm definitely going to use this one tomorrow i love doing it. everyone tells me they're like it's so crazy that you do your makeup every day i'm like i have to it makes me feel alive <laughs> like i just need to do something for myself you guys because i do so much for her like she's like my number one priority before myself and there's just times where i just need to like have a little bit of my day just to myself and that's to do my makeup i don't spend forever on my makeup like literally i do it in like 10 to 20 minutes, which I definitely should do a quick mommy makeup routine and show you guys what I do every day because then you guys will see like I'm really not spending that much time on myself. I just makes me feel a little bit more put together and feel ready to tackle on my day, but I cannot wait to try this out. <sighs> So excited. All right, so next up is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is the Sun and Lip Paint in Unbutton. So I have been seeing these all over people's like socials that they get in PR. And this color is the one that was like screaming to me out of everyone's. This color is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I've yet to try this formula because I know that she first came out with that red and everyone was dying over the red. But then when I saw that she came out with a nude, I was like, okay, I need to try this now. So it's a really pretty warm, like nude, absolutely gorgeous, perfect for the fall time. And I can't wait to try it out on my lips to see what the formula is like and how it wears. Definitely let you guys know in like an update video about all these products that I'm gonna be trying out. I would say in like a week, week and a half, we'll film an update because I'm gonna test these out over the next course of a week. And then I'll let you guys know what I love and what like didn't work for me. But I'm really excited about this. I totally just spent my time looking around because I was like, wait, I thought I had more, but nope. That's all I have from this order. The other orders that I had, like I told you, I did four of the Precisely My Brows. I ordered another one of my NARS foundations in Duville because I ran out of that one and I was like, oh crap. I just ran out of this. I need a backup, right? Or not, I didn't need a backup. I need one right now because I use that one to film with. And then I think I also ordered another box of the Cogent Dough because I was like, you know what? I should really take advantage of this and get two boxes and that way I have backup with this code. So that's what I did. So that is everything in my Sephora haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I can't wait to do like an update video and let you guys know what worked for me and what didn't work for me. So make sure to click that subscribe button if you're new for that little update. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram. I know Instagram right now is like all Riley because that's my life right now. It's just all about Riley, but I am going to be like doing like little updates in my stories about makeup too there and try to bring some makeup posts back. But I just really haven't felt like doing selfies right now. I'm sorry. I'm just not in that selfie mood right now. So that's why there's been no pictures of me. It's been mainly of Riley, but I know you guys have been enjoying it too. Just make sure to follow me over there if you guys want to like stay up to date with some stuff too. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video.